Hey guys, welcome back to Hendrix and Family Farm. In today's video, we're gonna be doing the uh, clutch pedal on the tractor. When we were over there at um, a friend of mine's house doing his pad for a shop, uh, the clutch pedal broke. Um, so we're gonna fix it and then we have to clean out the stalls once we get it done. So I'll show, kind of show you what's going on here. So, the clutch pedal isn't attached. Well, this attaches to this, which is your pedal. When you push it, it pulls the, the lever back here, and that's how you um, disengage the clutch. So, I went to order the part for the tractor, they didn't have no one had one in stock so what i did like this is the piece of all thread for it or the um this is the lever for it so what i did is that bottom clevis will come off and attach to this and then up here i'm going to slot this pipe that i welded onto a nut so it's adjustable and then um, we'll drill a hole through it and then put a pin in it for uh, the lever. So I'll kind of, we'll kind of get started here and I'll show you what we're doing. Uh, we'll do it all at the back of the, the truck just because it's a little clearer back here. Because I hope it rains. I hope the clouds just open up and it rains for three or four days. Nice slow rain because we need it. It hasn't rained here, I think, in eight weeks. So this is a, a punch. So we're gonna pop a hole in here so we have somewhere to pin it to. So it'll be similar to that and then we can pin it to the other end and then we'll have our linkage made. I will have to cut out where I'm doing it at though. Then you can get a hammer and hit it and it'll keep it from uh, the, the, punch, the deal from sliding so far so i'll go punch that get a drill and i'll be right back
bolt so I can see how big to make it. So we're going to use this bolt. So, uh, but I will have to buy a smaller one that. It's a grade 8 bolt, so I don't know if I'll be able to drill through it just to make a pin. So I'll probably just have to buy a smaller bolt. But we'll go ahead and. there so now that we got that through we got to be able to put the piece of metal through so we'll have to go up there with a um, cutoff wheel on a on a grinder and we'll make that well guys I got this part done um, there's some things you just don't put on a camera how I did it uh, I wouldn't want some some little kid to try to do it the way I did so I'm not gonna put that on camera I mean, I'd say it's I'd say it's pretty close because it turned right there. So I think we're pretty close. We'll go ahead and get it put on there real fast. guys one of the first things I have to do is because I was ripping a lot of dirt the last time I was using the tractor I have to lift up the tines
hey guys that's gonna be it for the video um make sure you go down hit the like and subscribe button we greatly appreciate it and every little bit helps uh i don't know exactly what i have for any more footage other than fixing the tractor um the reason why i'm out here recording a video on sunday is because the footage that i did have i all of the um audio on it was messed up so i did have to come out and record a new video but I'm going to get inside and edit it so that way you guys can see it. Appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next one. Oh, I felt the sprinkle. It's probably just going to tease us though.